Meet Nasa Lynx. He's a photographer, a wildlife adventurer, a grateful harvester of Mother Earth, and a legendary spear fisherman. He explores the ocean where he encounters some of Jamaica's most vicious predators while he captures breathtaking underwater footages and forages for food in order to survive. He cooks up a storm and produces mouth-watering dishes that will make you lick your finger. Welcome to Original Living with Nasa Lynx. This is the next wonderful day, you know? Yeah, man, and I know how to do a little spear fishing. It's a solo dive today, me alone. Yeah, man, and the reason why, because yesterday, I go up a country and I get a few roasting breadfruit. Yeah, man, and I decide that I want some roasting breadfruit and some steamed fish for dinner. Now I have no fish because the Portland dive never catch any. You guys see the previous video, that's when I got the breadfruit them. Yeah, man, so. I will get a couple of fish now for do a look at cup at home with them, you know? Yeah man, it's been a while since I eat some roasting breadfruit, alright? So today it's it's in the midday now and um the place is overcast because a little piece of white cloud has come across so dark up the whole place. But the sea is flat though and the wind is low. I'm hoping that the visibility is going to be great. Yeah man, so hopefully I can find two nice fish, alright? I don't look for nothing big, I don't look for no barracuda and a large fish. I just want to find two decent sized dinner fish or probably three. You can do a cook up with alright? Yeah man, so fingers are crossed. I'm gonna check out the water. The sea is nice. The sea is very nice, yeah man. And this location is the closest to my home, to where I'm at right now. Yeah man, we are in Ocherius, down by the Dunge River side. Yeah man. You can see the hotel from here, so it's a beautiful area, alright? And you can actually look down at the little dungeon river side as well. Yeah man, it's a nice area, so just gonna go over upon the deep a little, spin about two hours, see if I can find something, then come in back, alright? So catch you guys in the water. And as I said from before, this dive is not a hard hunting dive, it's just to get a few fish. So here I saw a school of fish. They all went through this hole. Some lovely quabs, some surgeon fish. I was trying to see if I could spear one of the quab. None never came in close, so I move over the rock and I end up to spear this one. This is a nice one. Just come in, man. Just jump in. Yeah. That's a guy doing rafting. So here I saw a few more quabs between this rock. I was trying to get one of the big ones, but the big ones was not coming out in the open. So I move on. This cave here, it's one of my favorite diving spot. I always saw chub inside. None was around this time. That's a reef lobster. That species of lobsters don't grow as big as the regular spiny lobsters. So 
here I saw some grunts in and out of some holes here. But they all fled. From the top, I saw a near shop, so head down to check him out. That's a lionfish, small lionfish. This is a nice size near shop, resting. I always love to see them. That species of shark, partly harmless, only would hunter if bothered. That's a gold tail I was chasing there. This is my second fish, a jack. Spear this one off camera. Wait, have you touched that subscription button yet? Then what are you waiting for? Subscribe now. Here I saw two jack, so I made a jack on them. Trying to line up this one, but he was moving too fast, so I missed it. So a lovely sized gun went up underneath this rock here So I made a jump to see if I could see him No sign of it Now I'm searching for lobsters. This spot was empty. I just speared a jack and he ripped off the spear. So he went in a hole right here. So I went down to check to see if I could see him. No sign of the fish. It seems as he went far up in one of the holes. That 
was a Pudneras moving fast. So here I saw a mountain snapper, so I made a jump a little distance from it and tried to sneak up. Here it is. Took the shot, but the spear fell short. So back on the lobster hunt, I saw a nice reef lobster, so I took it. Here's our next one. This is our next spot that looked promising, so I made the job. Nothing there. Swim over to the next side. Nothing as well. So this is a red belly. Nice one. I speared it off camera. Still on the hunt. I'm trying to see if I could get it a one or two more lobster. Just spear this lionfish. No, I'm removing the venomous spine from it. So that's what I got so far. This is a chomped fish, otherwise known as a piper fish. So that's the catch. This is the end of the underwater segment. Yes guys, so we jump out of the water you now. And the place is still over here, so as you guys can see. Yeah man, it's a little bleaky. Yeah man, but we find few things same way. Few fish and we find three lobster. Yeah man, because my girlfriend did say she wants some lobster. So me came across a couple of them I grabbed them, you understand what I say? Come on, so see what I find here? Yeah? This is the catch, you know? Find a nice drop there 
find three laps of them and the reef laps of them see them look different yeah man and a lionfish and a red belly and a quab yeah man and these 10 catches you know because this are, are so, uh, this are catch me did that say I eat more want you know yeah man we can do some a real cook down with the, the breadfruit and thing yeah man these things catch this so I'm gonna do like a clean up now yeah man Breadfruit, me are, but you only got a roast one. This are the biggest one. The one that one are big, you know. So, drop it down on the fire, you know. You go and come in. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the fire light still, you know. Season up in a man, so more crop on them than the regular season, you know. Man, they look good in the pot, yeah, so we have to up the, the thing. Mm -hmm. Steam, no matter steam, you know. But the way we do this, we do this week, you know, put everything in there, already, you know. Yeah, man, we have to set it on the fire, you know. So, in the meantime, you break through the ground, you know. Come, eh? Come on. Come on. 
kuma Change up plans, you know, guys. We have an next idea. We want to some fry. We want to go fry the breadfruit. Now nah, eat them like this. Long time we don't eat fried breadfruit. We have a slice them up and fry them. In the video, you can go get them better, you know. Mm -hmm. So, we slice up them, you know. This is what I do with frying, you know. I rest a pot, they occupy every pot full up, you know. Fish pot, but the one we set out to see. The one so the one in a well fry, you know. The one so see this here, from fry bread fruit and a red belly, yeah. You know this, you know, guys. You don't know the thing set, you know. The yeah, one so remember, you know, guys. Support the channel. You know. Share up the video with your families and friends. Yeah, man. I'm not selling, so check out your yeah, now. So, catch you in the next one.